Aos que bueno, el cofre en Sony está, pero el duro de lo duro, el fuerte de lo fuerte, el que se acordó con tu tía. Y hoy, Juan Segan, te traigo otro episodio con mucho picante, mucho spice y todo lo que tú necesitas. Tengo el placer de tener a alguien que tiene su propio podcast, una persona que lo defiende en la calle. Con ustedes, Mr. Chulo Swag. Uh, yo, Chulo, uh, first of all, um, I know not a lot of people know you by your real name, right? Um, I, have, I, don't think, you know, I don't think many people know. You, you know what's funny? Yeah, so well, before you came, I'm like, yo, what's this nigga's real name, bro? Um, and then you text me, and I have you seen it on my phone by your real name. So who are you? Um, what do you do? Um, talk to me about your podcast um, and a little bit about yourself. All right, no problem. So most people don't know this, but my government name is Braulio. Yes, Braulio. <laughs> now, nobody calls me Braulio. My mom doesn't call me Braulio. My family doesn't call me. Nobody calls me Braulio. So that's why I go by B. Now, I have another nickname, which, you know, came out in college or whatever, and that's Chulo Swag. Um, where, 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 does, where does Chulo Swag come from? You know, why did you get this nickname of Chulo Swag? So, so the origin <laughs> pretty much was um, when I went to Montclair, I didn't know anybody at Montclair. I just knew my cousin. So whenever I saw him, I would scream out, like, let's say, across the quad or whatever. I'd be like, Chulo. And then he'll do some other shit, but I can't really share that because it's a little... But you know what? He used to answer back, be chote, and then put his arm oh. in between his legs. Okay. So that was like our thing. So once I crossed, he started doing it. So he would call me Chulo. And it just stuck. People thought that that was my nickname. So it stuck. And the reason I changed it to my IG was because when I pledged, I kind of deleted my IG by mistake. I had to create a new one. And to link it up with my Twitter, I had to make it up. So I just ran with, with the Chulo thing. Chulo, sorry. And then... It just went from there, you know? So that's pretty much where the origin came from. Um, as regarding my podcast, it is called At The Hate The Truth. Um, I do it with a friend of mine called Bayo. And we pretty much just touch about any topic, anything that we can uh, think of. We'll bring people on, we'll talk to them, and pretty much things like that, that nature, you know? Who's, is that your phone? No, that's not my phone. That's, your, I think that's your phone. That's my phone? It's a little early for Exactly, it's the beginning of a call at this time. Know, Jesus, right? hold on, let me go check this out real quick. Quarantine and chill. That's my phone. That's it. That's it. Call. That's it. Look, it's ringing. Oh, it's upside down. Dime lo que te quiero. Te voy a grabar, mira, mira, mira. Oh, yo le pregunto cuando lo vea, eh, yo le tiro, le tiro después de esto. Está top. Oh, there you go, let's uh, put this motherfucker on side, right? <coughs> so back like we didn't leave, uh, we had a little interrupted there, but that's all right. All right, so um, and you were saying you, you went to Montclair, what did you study? Uh, unfortunately, I studied criminal justice. Um, <laughs> you said unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I wish I would have, you know, been able to dive into other things, but I found my passion around uh, communications at a late time, so I just finished my major, got out, because, you know, I needed that degree to show the parents, you know, because they were very happy about it. Yo, before, yeah. we dive, before we dive into the trending topic, I actually want to bring this up. Do you think at the age of, uh, say, 18, 20, is the proper age to ask a kid what they want to do for the rest of their life? I, I don't think so. The only reason why is because I feel like from like first grade to you get to college, you're learning the same things in school. History, math, English, all, all over, over and over and over. And then you just know from experiences of maybe like movies, TV shows, or maybe whatever you are surrounded by your family is what you should go for as far as like career wise. You don't have the broad spectrum of knowing anything but that small section. And I feel like that's the reason why a lot of people change their majors in college because they'll go in, oh, I want to do this, and then they'll dive into that a little bit. They're like, oh, wait, I like that. And then boom, let's go over there. But I feel like that's, that's a scheme. It's a, this university scheme, make money, you know? Hey, yo, to be honest with you, like you said before, like, you know, had I, I feel like had I known myself, I would have definitely not done, like, I graduated with Spanish language studies, minors in mathematics and psychology, right? So I started off with the, I wanted to be a math teacher. Then I found out that maybe math is not as easy as I thought it was, um, and um, you know, and then I kind of, I kind of cheated myself out because I was like, listen, I know the language, you know, how difficult can it be to go into Spanish literature? Maybe I'll do like bilingual, you know, bilingual teacher, yeah. and you know, I taught and whatever, and it was fun for a while, you know, but then it was kind of like, this is not really my calling. You yeah, know? no, I, I totally get you because I feel like I cheated myself way out as far as like doing criminal justice. Like, yeah, I wanted to be pursue 
that law enforcement field, but I feel like I could have definitely done something else because I don't need that degree to become law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. All right. So let's. <clears throat> All right. So let's dive into the trending topic. Trending topic of the day. I'm bringing you um, once again the guy who has taken over uh, social media, has taken over um, what well, everybody's talking about. My brother, mi primito, el primo mío, el primo mío, mi primito six nine, mi primito six nine. Eh, eh, le acaban de, de devolver un dinero que él quiso donar a unas donaciones um, y creo que el señor Hernández you know, tuvo la generosidad um, to donate to the Now Kids Hungry but um, they um, have informed his representative that he has um, declined his donation the organization said that the statement sent to CNN as a child focused campaign it is our policy to decline funding from donors who don't, um, whose activities do not align with our mission and value. So, just to start with that, do you think an organization, and yeah, an organization who is feeding the hungry should be, I don't want to say the word picky, but should have such a restraint on who they receive money from, knowing that there's so many kids out there who are starving? Well, I mean, I feel like they should just receive the... If they didn't know his background, I'm pretty sure they would have received the money happily. I mean, people probably donate to this organization all the time. And they don't know their backgrounds or what they represented or anything like that. They could have even spoken to 6 9 I mean, I don't know if this is something they, they thought about, but maybe taking the donation, but on the low. Because, you know, 6 9 likes to blow up everything. Yeah, for sure. For you sure. Know, make, for sure. make a show of everything and, you know, publicize it. So I feel like maybe they could have got, maybe they went that route and we don't know about it. But I don't think they should wholeheartedly deny the money when that money is going to good use. You know, you know this, this um, and it just came to mind, you know, uh, what is it? Does, do, do the means, what is it? Do, do the goal justify the means or something like that? Yes, yeah, so, so, I, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm trying to get yeah, at? Yeah, yeah, I'm so, so my thing is I feel like the, the, the main mission here is to be able to feed these kids who don't have the ability of um, having a plate over their table every day, right? Exactly. Um, and I think, you know, whether you want to debate where 6 9 gets his money from, right? At the end of the day, you know, he's an artist. At the end of the day, he's an, inf he, he's an influence in, in the society that we live in. Oh, yes. And how many artists out there are actually taking the time to put donations like that out there and i feel like you denying that you're also sending a message out to people who could have taken the time to donate no for sure i mean i also feel like if the money wasn't legit he wouldn't be donating it in a sense i mean i mean he already he can show people where he got it from exactly and he just came out of jail for whatever he did i'm sure it's not AKA snitching, like you see where I'm getting it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's what it is. I mean, he 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 came out and said it. You know, he 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 understood. But yeah, but if the money is legit and it's going for a good cause, I mean, just just let it happen. I feel like just take the money, be happy. I mean, you don't have to do any any public events with him. You don't have to do like a signing check or not. Just take, take the, money. the money. Exactly. This, this is my thing. I feel like, I feel like them rejecting that. You just allow kids who were going to not eat one night, you made sure that they not going to eat that night. You yeah. see what I'm getting at? Yeah, no, you definitely take food you, off the plates. The, exactly. Um, and one of the complex um, reporters um, who wrote this and since has deleted um, his Instagram post said that during this pandemic, um, I understand that we have the nurses and the frontline heroes who risk their lives daily um, to save others, but never forget um, the children and family who depend on our public uh, schools for daily meals and nutrition to keep um, our future leaders growing in their best potential. So, I, you know, I feel like, you know, a statement like that kind of brings to light that, you know, whether you want to be quote unquote uh, politically correct um, by not accepting it, you also kind of put a, uh, a restraint, I guess, where or slow down the process of somebody's growth just by not accepting money from. Now, did you say that he, he deleted the tweet? Yeah, so this is one of, this is one of the complex reporter. Um, he wrote this and then since deleted this. I wonder why he deleted it though. I wonder if it was because of his job or... You know, you know what? I mean, the whole topic is very controversial depending on what side you're on. Exactly, for sure. I totally mm -hmm. agree with that. You know, and, 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 you, know, you know, bringing stuff like that, you know, I think sometimes people have uh, certain uh, positions and that they have to be careful as to what they say and where they stand. Um, and I can see how, you know, maybe working for Complex, when you throw a shot like that, um, how it could uh, somewhere, somehow sound like 
Yeah, I mean, it's just coming from a good place of heart, though. I, I, listen, I, me too. I, I, I totally agree with you. I totally hundred percent. I totally agree with you, and I think you know that. I think we should also like reflect on that because listen to me. I don't. I haven't seen many artists yo go walk the street of the arts handing out hundreds. No, I don't. You, you know you're what right. I mean? You're right. I mean, they, they'll be idolized out there. They'll be you know wanted and this and that. But you never see. You never hear. Maybe they do do it, but you never hear or see it physically like the guys going out there and you know doing any money or putting up a camp or doing this or doing that i mean they might no listen to me i know it happens i'm pretty I sure know, that it I happens know. but it's never on that scale to the point that you know look here here it is i you know i think you know i think artists should um as crazy as this may sound i think you should look up to what six nine has been doing with the community before he got locked up and after he got locked up you see what I mean? Oh my, before you got locked up and after, yeah. That was right, right, right. All right, cool. So now we're going to move on to La Suciedad de Negro. La Suciedad de Negro doesn't technically have to do with me, pero son temitas que a mí me interesan. Entonces, let's go. And today we got five sex tips, right? And the next five sex tips, um, you know, I'm going to throw a sex tip out there. I'm going to throw a little quote from this article that was written on uh, the maryclear.com. Um, and I want you to give me your intake on it, right? And the number one, the first one is, is tell them what turns you on. Okay, so. So as you, so t tell who? Well, I'm assuming the person you have sex with, right? All right, so pretty much the person you have sex with, tell them what turns you on. How many times, like? how exactly, how many times have you actually taken the time to tell someone what turns you on? I don't think I've ever, <laughs> ever <laughs> I don't think I've ever sat down and was like, look, I like it just like this. Maybe in the middle, like you know, like keep like stay there, stay there. Stay you there, just, do that. You do that, but you don't, you don't take the time and be like, no, do this, no, do that. You just like put up with it, and then hope it gets better or worse. <laughs> or like, oh, let's, move, let's, let's do trash around this, so let's do this, or it's just you just toss. So, first. so, so this is my thing with this, right? You know, I think you know, I first you first need to understand, you know, who you are currently about to have sex with, or currently, currently who you're having sex with. Um, Which usually doesn't happen. Which usually doesn't happen. But you understand that sometimes one has one who is consistent, one who is that. Exactly. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that because then they start to say that I have a girlfriend there, so I don't have a girlfriend, and I don't want to eat a lot of cotes. But you understand that sometimes we have people who are a little bit more consistent, right? So, to those people, you know, I'm more likely to to guide. I am more likely to say like, oh yeah, a mí me gusta como lo hagan de esta manera, o a mí me gusta esto, right? Uh -huh. And the you know, same question I asked you, how many times have I said it? I've said it a few times. You know what I mean? I think, I think you really have to, I really have to be into you. But yo quería decirte a ti que oye, a mí me gusta de esta manera. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. I, I, like I'm not doing this. You have, have that, you have that level of comfort. For that, sure, that, for sure. You you're have willing to like go ahead and be like, look, this is what I like. And, and and also, I mean, you want to know too what what they like, and especially if you have that that relationship with that person, you would want to be able to satisfy that person so they stay around. Them. For sure, and you know, I think one of the one of the big things about this is that to what see, yo como hombre, right? A veces no caemos en en la costumbre, right? There's certain things that we just do um, because those that's how that has worked for us before, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, um, women are very much more complicated than men. Right, so a bit more complicated is very is like understand. Uh, but but no, but but you but you don't much have to go good way, good way. Right, so you know like you know the tricks that worked with Fulanita, right, is not gonna work with Josefina, and it's not gonna work with Atiuska, and it's not gonna work with Siomaira. And you see what I'm getting at? No, like, the the same trick that you use on one girl is not gonna necessarily work on another girl. Unlike guys, guys, we have. One instrument that one instrument, one function, one function, and that, and that's basically <laughs> it. Do my yeah. So you know, I think as men, I think this is something that we should definitely take into making sure that we tell them, you know, what changes on. And in this article, it says that um, if you do it, um, if they are doing something you like, say or rather than just rely on ambiguous gestures and noises, right? So I would say no caemos en el el. The, the fake moments. Yeah, tú me entiendes. Or the real ones, but. Pero, pero mandando el señal, mandando la señal de que yo, de I see, no me entiendes. Claro. But I think of it something we need to be a bit more directly verbal, like, yes, that's what I like. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But now that I think about it, have I ever said that? 
I'm, I'll tell you right now. I don't think I have, unless I was in a, unless I was in a relationship. When I was in, a, when you're in a relationship and you talk to the person and you wanna, like, know how to please the person. Yeah, but like to say that just in every, every day, every just, scenario, yeah, every, every scenario, scenario, every day scenario. No, it's not something that, <laughs> that really crosses my mind. I'm just, you know, I'm going based off of noises and action. No, you know? Noises, noises and gestures. Noises and gestures. All right. So moving on to number two. Number two, give them the confidence boost, right? Confidence boost. So I don't know problem me, right? Eh, a mí no me gusta una mujer que no tenga ese ese dominio o ese esa personalidad que ella no crea que ella es el final o que ella está durísima. First of all, you should bring that, right? And then when it comes to their sex life, I like a woman who clearly understands. Like, um, listen to me. This is what I do. I like what I do that doesn't have to rely on me boosting their confidence. Okay. You, you see where I'm getting at? Yeah, you you yeah, see yeah. where I'm getting at? Yeah. So, so, you know, where do you, where do you stand on, you know, giving a, a confidence boost? Do you, is this, would you, would you say this is a regular thing or how do you, and if you did, how would you do it? I, I feel like it's, it's not a, a regular thing amongst males just because I feel like once you've I guess had sex with that person, it's already confidence boost. Like you already got to have sex with that person, so it's like, damn, like she fucks with me, like, okay. boom. But with girls, I feel like I don't know if it is or it isn't, but I've never, I've I've gotten to the situation where you have a sex with the person. You have, let's say you have that that cuddling time afterwards. You talk, and then they'll they'll tell you like that that you boosted their their ego depending on you know you messing with them or you doing certain things. Now, <laughs> have you ever done something that has brought down their self-esteem? I definitely have. I'll tell you that. I definitely have. I have. I definitely have. I have. I mean, <laughs> I, I've known a girl that didn't like her ass What the and, f- what? And, um, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, I had that and I thought she was... She was she was playing. <laughs> I thought, you know, I meant like, yo, you're not, you're not smacking it hard enough. So, what? Tu sabes. I kept going. Pues tia, que está lo que quieren. Y no, that, that boosted like that, that brought it down. Like, it was just like, no, like, you disrespected me. I don't like that. You kept right. going. And I'm like, oh, pues. All right, so check, bueno. yo. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm bring a moment of, of where, you know, Negro's party was, didn't have his highest of all, right? So, hubo una tipa, yo, yo, yo no sé si tú, tú has ido para la casa de una tipa como con intenciones. Yeah, like you, Exacto, like, yo, yo, yo voy para tu casa y yo voy a romper, right? Sí. Yo, manito, tú sabes que, manito, yo he ido a la casa de esta tipa con todas intenciones y no se me ha parado. No, I've been there. Yeah. Yo, and listen to me. If you, if you say you've never been there, oye, lying. Óyeme, óyeme. Y yo, entonces, yo personalmente, I kind of like, fuck, nigga. Like, now, now I need to come back with... With kind of like a, like, como hasta con maldad, like, you know what I mean? Exacto, right? And yo, after that, the conversation was like, damn, like, she took it as if it was all her fault. Yeah, like, it, And I felt bad. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, it's not her fault. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but, you know, it's Usually not Usually it's never her fault. It, exactly, it's not. No, actually, all the time. Huh? Whenever, yeah, whenever, exactly. I feel like whenever a guy is going to a girl's house, if you have the intention to, to fuck or not, it's never her fault. If you if you can't get it up, it's never. It's not. It's not. So my nigga, and all she kept on saying is like, "Damn, it's me, it's me." And then internally, I'm like, "Fuck, nigga, what the fuck have you done, bro?" Like now this girl thinks. Yeah, you're just like, <laughs> my fucking. So yeah, and and and, to, and you and you know, I think I think a lot of women take a lot of um pride in being able to arouse a man, and when they aren't capable of doing it, you know, they you know they take this um they take it so personal, and they have this confidence. Um, put into question. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I think it takes somebody who is highly confident to kind of just kind of brush that off and understand the situation. Exactly. No, hundred percent. All right, moving to number three. Number three, keeping things spontaneous. What do you think spontaneous is? For me, I think it's more of uh, mixing it up, changing it up, doing different things that you might not do, even if it's like let's say it's a new relationship or old relationship. Pretty much, it's something out of the out of the ordinary, you know? Okay, so para mí, right? Eh, hablando aquí de huevo, estoy chequeando los notes y los notes me, tienen, me tienen a mí un poquito confuso ahora porque creo que me faltó un papel. Por lo usual, eso no es nada, nada raro aquí en Australia, right? 
um, Dr. Jeffrey, right? Ew, he spells Jeffrey with an A. That's weird. Jeffrey? Jeffrey. Jeffrey, como se llama el tipo. Also recommend, also recommend uh, switching up the time and place to avoid falling into the run out of once a week duty sites. Try duty sites. Wow, I've never heard of that one. Uh, try new places to have sex, maybe on the sofa, um, in the car, or in the kitchen. Uh, kitchen. Uh, and, how, um, and how about the back row of the movie theaters? Be careful though, because sex is illegal in public places. Tú que eres un policía. What's up? La persona para preguntar. Pues tío, le tengo una pregunta. Eh. Okay. If I get caught, if I get caught having sex in my car, uh -huh. trying to be spontaneous, trying to bring a different spark into my relationship, uh -huh. what can happen? All right. So it depends on the cop that pulls you. Over. I mean, the cop that pulls up. Okay. First of all. Second, it depends on where you're at. Okay. What, you, the, what, the, what do you mean by where I'm at? You don't want to be in a school. Okay, so I can't be zone. on the school ground. You don't want to be in a school zone because if he wants to be a dick, then you're going to get hit with, with that too. What, what, what's that? What's that? What am I going to hit with? It's, it's pretty pretty much uh, public indecency. Public indecency? You know, uh, pretty much showing off here in public. Okay. Um, and that could be like a sex crime. So, sex crime? So you could, be a, you could end up a sex offender. Well, we're talking about tiempo, 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 tiempo. You know... You, so you're telling me that if I have sex in my car with somebody who is consenting, right, okay. for me to have sex with them, uh -huh. because I got caught in a public place, I can be classified as a sex offender? Yes. If you're near a school, I mean, you ever, so pretty much, if let's say you're at a park and you pee and you get caught, you can get classified as a sex offender. So same concept. If you're in a park and you can see, you can classify as a sex offender. Now, if you have tents and you can't see in the car, and you happen to pull up your pants and everything up before you know you open the door, open the door, acknowledge them or anything like that. I mean, it's really hard for them to say push that, the case, you know, push it that you guys were actually. So, okay, so es lo que están diciendo sin querer decirlo porque aparentemente no lo puedo decir, pero yo se lo voy a decir a ustedes. Antes de abrir la puerta, si tienen los tenis, pónganse la ropa y después abren la puerta para que después digan qué estaban haciendo. Lo siento. All right. Anyway, so let's gonna move on to number four. And number four. Kind of throws me off. I understand it, but throws me off a little bit with the following. Right, number four says that foreplay should start days beforehand. So how? It's not exactly right. So 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 there's you know there's different ways of foreplay. You know you can talk about sexting, you can talk about dirty talk, blah 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 blah. You know kind of like the build up of the moment, right? But oh, I don't know if days before can work for me. I mean, I feel like that's really hard, especially if you don't live with the person. Because at least if you live with, per with the person, right, then I see your, 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 your lifestyle is a little busy. You guys don't, you know, have as much time together. But you know, like, okay, Thursday night, you get off at this time, I get off at this time, and we're making dinner, right? At that point, I could foreplay all, all I want. You know, in the morning, I could foreplay before going to work real quick or, I, you know, in the shower. Whatever the case may be, I could, you know, do sexual things to, like, arouse my partner prior to that day but for me to like we don't live together we don't see each other as often and like for me to know that i'm gonna see you thursday and like start on monday start on monday like there's there's no way then maybe like the day before yeah like you know sexy and shit but like pa comenzar el lunes comenzar and be like hey, hey like lunes, i'm gonna do this to you miércoles. on thursday lunes, martes, <laughs> miércoles, y esperar el jueves porque cuando viene el jueves en la noche no, claro. No, yo no creo. Pero Jeffrey dice, notes, that setting the mood for sex is vital, for women especially, and for the foreplay should start long before sex even begins. I'm talking of, I'm, I am talking here about the mental foreplay that happens days in advance, not the one that you have just before sex. Make sure that, make sure to be attentive to your partner, small gestures and nice comments and significance to the settings to the right mood for sex. Hey, hablando del sex mood. What's your what's your ideal scenario? What's what's how 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 does Chulo Swag set up the mood in a room? Well, I have the the dimming lights. Oh no, but that tipo tiene un red room in su casa. So, <laughs> the, the dimming lights is a must, you know. You dim the lights. Now I have a big screen TV, so you can put music through there. I preferably I prefer putting music through there. I don't like having sex in pitch dark. I can't, you know, that's. 
can't see anything. Okay. So you so so you so you want to be able to make you 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 a TV on type nigga. Yeah. Okay. But I don't want to be watching a movie tampoco like you know. Does, has the movie ever distracted you? Yes. Yes? Oh, yes, it Interesting, has. interesting. I mean, it has, it's, it's especially interesting. if you like the movie and it gets to a good point. It's just like, <laughs> oh, shit. Nika, you just throw that that quick, like, boom, yeah, like. Right. And then, like, if she picks up on it, 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 it ruins. It's a mood killer. It's a mood killer. It's a you mood know? killer. So, you know, you, you can play some R&B. I like R&B. You like R&B? I like R&B. Um, you can play some R&B or whatever you like. You know. All right, so, I, now, so now my question to you is, now that, now, now, that you, now, <laughs> now that you say R and B, give me give me um, a a list of three songs on your R and B playlist. Oh, I got you a little. Bit. Oh, you got it right? Now? Oh yeah, I have a whole R and B playlist. Yo, listen to me, oh. and, I, and I have a sex list on my uh, Apple Music. Telito y ready para si se alma el asunto, eso la mala le play. Now only I only have two thousands. You only have two thousand. Two thousand R and B. Alright, cool. So this, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this quick. And this, I usually don't do this for this podcast. We're gonna do. You're gonna give me five. Your top five. Number five. Look, scroll all the way to the top. Scroll all the way to the top. All, all the way to the top. All the way to the top. Right. And you're gonna give me the first five that you got. And I'm gonna give you the first five I got. Okay. That I mean, none of these might not be it, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the first one on the top is you don't have to call by Usher. You don't have to call by Usher. I don't think I know that one. You don't know? You don't have to call. It's okay, girl. I'm gonna be your man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got that one. That was good for the Jeep, too. All right, cool. I got, I got, um, you could probably read this because I'm probably gonna read this wrong. Uh, Falacio? Falseo? Falsetto. I don't know. I know it's not in Spanish. Falsetto? Falsetto? The Dream? The Dream. Okay. What you got number two? You remind me. Usher. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Shut it down. Drake featuring the dream? Nah, that's, that, that one's better. That one's better. My next one is where the party at, but that one's not really... That's, a model that's model. not supposed to be at the that, top. That, 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 that's kind of more of the fast beats. Yeah, yeah, later on, you know. <laughs> Number three, I got them. I love that shit uh, featuring Trey songs. Um, August? Ah, uh, okay, okay. I feel like a, a lot of the songs that you have there are in my, like, grind, like... Nah. <laughs> Playlist. <laughs> I have a playlist that was made a while ago. A while ago. Back in the day. It's a little like used nowadays. Back in the day, called through the you, know, you know, you, you give girls lap dances. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of yeah. Trey songs. Yeah, 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 now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here with Trey songs the entire way. I'm going to give you my last two. Um, Neighbors Know My Name and um, Love Faces, Trey songs. Yep. I like those two. Alright. <clears throat> I'll keep those. So, I for those, know. we just gave you five sex tips. Oh wait, we didn't. We we the last one. I'm sorry. Uh, spend time with yourself too. All right, and it kind of brings me to a very important question. Can you masturbate too much? With this pandemic, I think no. 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 This this has Yo. taught you that there's there's no masturbating too much. What, I mean, okay. The, even prior to having sex, you used to masturbate a lot. Okay, so now my question to you: What would you consider masturbating too much? What? Seven days a oh, week. So, you got seven days in a week. So I feel like if if at any point in time during those seven days of the week during the week, if you masturbate and then you masturbate right after, that's too much. You gotta give yourself some time. <laughs> like if you masturbate in the morning and then you know you run one out before you go to sleep, by all means. But if you just sit in there at home, you masturbate, jerk off, nut, a couple minutes later, you masturbate, jerk off, I mean Okay. They they have they have they have they have keep it. I guess yeah yeah yeah. Keep that was that was kind of clear, guys. Um, you so know. I guess uh, I guess I'm on that. I'm on that. But break. my thing is when I spend I say like, time with myself, I think I I deviate from masturbating and more of looking up things to use. You use sex list? Yes. How many sex list you got? I, I I don't have a room yet. You, know, you don't me, have a room let, yet? Let me, get, let me buy a house. Once <laughs> I buy a house, I, 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 you know, it's a dream. It's a yeah, dream. No, uh, listen to me. I'm definitely getting a right room in my house. I, 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 need, a, I need a swing. Yeah, no, bro. Oh, no, 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 You know what you do need to get? If you have a tub, the sex cuts, uh, the, it's like suction cuffs. Suction cuffs? Yeah, so it, it, it sucks. So you use cuffs in the, in the, in the, in the bath. And then you suction Ay, them. No so the instead of like, like you know, gripping it on something, you know, just suction. So Ay, tu no sabe lo que tu you know, a good, another good one, uh, the leg spreader. 
leg spreader. Yeah, I, did, I got they one. had that in the in the, I got in the movie that. And another one that I, I haven't tried, but I have is the um, is a controller vibrator. The one that they wear while you go out to dinner and then you're pues, control. Pues, pues tío, te tengo, te tengo el mejor ejemplo. Te lo voy a enseñar ahorita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Te, 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 te voy a enseñar un par de los juguetitos que tenemos aquí en Oscar when it comes to A couple of tips for you guys, you know, just to... All right, so listen, we gave you five tips. We gave you some um, some law. We gave you some advices. Um, but now we're going to go to rant of the day. And the rant of the day, um, I know that you guys have been seeing um, all over Instagram, Twitter, TikTok especially, um, you know, the toddler, when you put the toddler, you put the candy in front and you tell them, yo, wait till I come back to, you know, and if you come back, you get it. First of all, I think a lot of people are doing it the wrong way, right? That's not how it's supposed to go. Just okay. for, so it's supposed to be that, listen, I am going to give you a marshmallow, mm -hmm. but if you wait till I come back, I'm going to give you two marshmallow, right? So it's picking the battle between um, instant gratification okay. and we're waiting to get more, right? Mm -hmm. So um, now... In the social media era, you know, do you think if we transform this um, marshmallow test into an adult version, do you think adults can deal with something like this? Uh, and I'm not talking 15 minutes. Let's talk about like 15 years. I think it depends on the on the price. So, what am I getting out of giving this? You know. Okay, so let's, this, this, the only example I think would kind of put people to think is the following, right? Uh -huh. You have, you have a thousand dollars in front of you, uh -huh. right? Um, it's, oh, perfect, this pandemic, right? I'm, I'm not put a thousand, let's put 10K. You have 10K in front of you, this pandemic, this current situation. Uh -huh. You're not working, right? You have to stay home. And I'm like, listen, I'm gonna leave 10K at your house. But in 15 years, if I come back and that 10K is there, I'm gonna give you a million dollars. Do you think adults can handle that? No. The only reason why is that is because we got excited over 12, 1200. <laughs> we got excited over 1200 dollars. Which is, big, which is barely a paycheck. It's, it's less than what you make a month on, on average. And we got excited over 1200. And I, and I know people that, that blew that 12 months. And, oh, or, for sure. Like, I put it in my savings account. And I know people that were like, yeah, I'm going to save this much, but use this much, but use most of it. You're the one you said. The first thing, like, the, and please don't judge me off of this, right? First thing I did when I got the 12, I spent three, no, I was, I'm talking, it was $300. It was $200 worth of liquor. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. That's the first thing I did. Essential. Right? It's, it's the, super essential. Super essential, right? Essential. From the jump, liquor stores have been essential. You can't judge me off of that one. And then the next thing I did was pay a month of rent. Luckily, I live in Newark, so my rent's cheap, right? So I paid a month of rent, and then the rest of the money I bought like food and stuff. That's, yeah. that's, that's responsible, though. I, I think, no, but you know what it is? Every time I tell people, you have to spend $200 on liquor, they look at me like, I mean, are you kidding me? Like, $200 on liquor? Like, I mean, you could have just told them that it was part of your groceries. And then true. that would be you get the, I mean, it's, it's still part of your groceries. I mean, when I go grocery shopping, and I make sure that I look at my liquor store, my liquor section, I'd be like, oh, I need another bottle of honey. <laughs> uh, that wine looks a little low. Yeah. Uh, you know, stuff that I normally drink on, on occasion, you know, make sure I do it on my grocery list. Now, as a parent, do you think you should feel somewhat disappointed if your kid fails this test? I want to say yes. Why? But I also want to say no. I want to say yes, if depending on their age, if you haven't taught them that yet. That's the only reason why, because I feel mm -hmm. like... How would, you t how, would you t how would you teach instant gratification? I mean, you have many, I, I, I'm not a parent, but I, you know, you, you can have scenarios when you go out and, you know, the kid wants to say McDonald's for dinner, let's say, let's just say, but then you pass by Burger King at Walmart, they don't have Burger King at Walmart, but let's say it's there, yeah, okay. and they want it right now, but you tell them, you know, after you food shop, you're going to get it later on, as long as they behave, of course, because that's usually the, the scenario, the scenario, easily just like that, you know? Uh -huh. I mean, I had situations growing up that, you know, I couldn't have McDonald's until the weekend. And Shit. I was looking forward to it all weekend if I McDonald's made good in, in school. Shit, McDonald's <laughs> was a highlight when you were... Not, not you, I'm sorry. Get I'm that box. Me. Yo, listen to me. Them, yo, them, um, them Happy Meals? Yeah. Them Happy the Meals toys. different, different. And I hate when people talk bad about McDonald's because there was a lot of you guys, yo, where you that, with the dollar fifty getting them a chickens because there was nothing else to get. Exactly. You know, um, you get a dollar menu. I mean, they had... Good menus now. I mean, I barely go to McDonald's nowadays. Anyway, you know, I prefer Wendy's nowadays. But 
I think as, as you grow older, we, we've, we've changed towards Wendy. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's down the block, but um, I might definitely change towards Wendy too. No, nah, I think it's because usually I think Wendy's was as, as popping for us back in the day. I mean, I didn't know about Wendy's until I got older. Mm. Uh, it was all McDonald's. Right. Burger King was McDonald's, Wendy's was McDonald's, everything was McDonald's. Okay, that's all the school when you're from trending topic. But now, since I have Bradley with us, um, aka Chulo Swag, uh, you have a podcast and you do something on your podcast. Um, and it's called Ant to the Internet. I didn't want to know too much about it. You okay. just told me. I'm like, let's do it. Um, hopefully, I haven't just, di- you know, just jumped into something that I'm probably not going to be able to get out of. But let's see how that goes. You, you might. You might. So, yeah. So, on my podcast, um, in The Hated Truth, we started this, this uh, game called Answer the Internet that we found online. Um, the game is from Barstool. So, we went ahead and they started doing videos. We're like, yo, let's, let's, let's test it out. Instead of playing the game... Why don't we just do it with the people that come on the that show? Sure. So I brought a couple cards. I picked them out randomly. <laughs> hint, hint, I didn't pick them out randomly. He probably put the worst of the worst. I did pick the worst of the he worst. He was like, yup, let's put Nate on the motherfucking spot. But mind you, there's, there's different piles, so we're going to let him pick how many he wants. From okay, each one. okay, so I can, so, okay. Oh, can I, can I shuffle? Can I shuffle? Well, you can shuffle in between each one. So No, 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 no. can so I shuffle look. all the cards? Well, this is Paul the Internet, right? So, all right, all this right. Is, Debate the internet and this answer the internet. So that's okay. why you can shuffle within the decks because each oh. one is their own deck. Oh, so each one is their own deck. We usually do Interesting. two or three from each one. Okay, all right. So let's. um. So how it goes is that you get the card, right? Mm-hmm. You read the card. Okay. You answer the card. Okay. And then you say why. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So you can so, shuffle whatever deck you want and pick out a card. All right. So I'll, I'll, you know, I'll believe that they're somewhat shuffled. Uh, how you doubt it, but damn. Alright, let's do it. Swing a dagger, man. Here we go. Pull the internet, alright? Is sex with. What the? Is sex with conjoined twins a threesome? Did they. Um, you, just, um, you, you picked out a great one. To okay. Start off too. Is sex with conjoined twins a threesome? Hmm. I'm going to say no. I'm, and I'm explaining to you why I'm saying no, right? Conjo- I mean, this clarifying. Could you introduce some of the things that are going on, right? Uh-huh, correct. Right? Um, so, I'm saying no because I feel like the the threesome is being able to have three people, you know, kind of intertwining and enjoying themselves. And then when two of them are kind of stuck together, it kind yeah. of puts so, them... So, what do they both have? They don't. Sh- they, don't they share the, the middle, but they both have their own vagina. Is it a threesome? Uh, 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 damn, I should have never started playing this game. Um, what's this game called? Enter the Internet. Um, Enter the Internet. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say no, bro. I think I think it's the ability of having um, three people separately and three people kind of doing as they please um, to have fun. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Here we go. So let's go with the. One this uh, debate the internet. If you could fuck anyone you wanted, but you would die immediately after, who would you pick? I Dios mio. Yo, for some reason Rihanna came to mind. If you would kill Rihanna. Wait, well, I have to wait. I have to kill them, or would I die? They, they'll die. Oh, they die. They die. Oh well, yeah, for sure, definitely Rihanna. Then. Uh, <laughs> no, no question. I was debating about myself, bro. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> listen to me. 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 <laughs> this is gonna sound so fucking shallow. Yo, I was the last nigga Rihanna fucked. You fucked her so good. <laughs> exactly. Yo! Yo, <laughs> le dio tan duro que la mató a la pobrecita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. So this is answer the internet. Would you rather always. Oh, would you rather. Oh, would, you, would you rather always be hard or never be able to get hard? Um, I'm gonna go with. Uh, yo, listen to me. In high school, I developed the ability uh, to incognito um, walking around with a hard on. So I am, so I am going to, I am going to walk around life with a hard on. I just have to have like a book in my hand or like a sweater or. Um, I definitely figured out the way to walk in sweats in cop. In I mean, high school. In high school? Yeah, you just wear shorts underneath that that tie. Oh yeah, but like I pray to both. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Listen to me now, but I'll definitely, yeah, I'll definitely walk. Yeah, because I'm not doing anything else. But since I answered three of them, right, and I answered the debate, the internet, pull the internet, and answer the internet, 
I think it's only right that our guest indulges in the game itself and pues él tiene que saberse la para se trasaza esa la sabe todo pero como quiera vamos a entretener vamos vamos a ver I'm 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 gonna go in the middle is it was that the trick was that the trick going through no, no, I mean it's, it's, it's certain it's certain aspects is is good okay here we go pull the internet would you rather be blind or dickless well blind I'm not giving up sex well that's why well yeah there's, there's no way in hell blind or dickless blind or dickless yeah I think I think I'm going blind. blind I think I'm going blind you know what I think I think sex might even be better blind it might because you enhance your senses. You enhance all your senses. Yeah, but you know what I mean? You're, Everything's up to imagination. Exactly. You're, you're not so worried so much about physical appearance or how somebody yeah. looks, somebody's moaning faces, <coughs> aka some girls out there. Yeah. Um, and myself as included. If, you're, if you're dickless, all you, all you have is a bunch of you have balls. You, you can see. You have balls. Imagine getting blue balls and not being able to like get rid of your blue balls. I didn't mean. That's, that's rough. That's rough. That's rough. Let's go to the middle again. Okay. Debate the internet. How far are you willing to drive for sex? I have a thirty. I have a thirty-minute radius. Only thirty minutes. Thirty. Look. So it depends, right? So I have a thirty-minute radius. Thirty-minute radius, right? Uh -huh. And I could get from here to New Brunswick in thirty minutes, right? So it's my, you know, it's a little, little faster, right? Actually, yeah. So like you from know, here, you, yeah. You so you know, depending on how you how you drive, so right? So I have a thirty-minute negative drive radius uh -huh. around me, right? I push 45, but it's like 45, one guarantee, two has to be good. You know what I mean? What if it has a, a, a 45 on a toll? It depends what toll you're talking about. You're talking about New York toll? Yeah. Mm -hmm. New York toll. Oh, no. You got, I, it has to be really, really, really good, yo. It has to be like a squirter type thing. I drove over an hour and 15. Two tolls. Two tapas out. Nah, I'm not doing all that. I'm sorry, yo. So I'm, I guess that that's how far nah, I'm nah, 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 ready I, to I, drive. I ain't doing all that. I'm sorry. Yeah. An hour and change, mad two toes, including the other way, you're a loco. You the boy patra. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> I'm gonna say right now it was worth it. Okay, so I mean, I guess it was worth it. That's what's up, congratulations. It was um, worth it. I'm not doing it though. Answer the internet. Would you rather have a girl who talked a lot during sex or a girl who, who was completely silent during sex? Sheesh. That's a tough one. I'm gonna say talk a lot during sex. Because if she was completely silent during sex, and let's say there's no music, let's say the TV's on, but it's like, even if there's music, actually, Yo, and bro, it's very low. Have you ever bumped to a girl, like in real life, that talks a lot during sex? Mm, no, not a lot. I mean, like talk, yeah, but, I, but like, it's not sentences, it's not conversation, it's like just, you know, spurts of the moment. Yo, my name's Domino, man, man, man. Yo, but, uh, yo listen, to, listen, man. I bumped into, I bumped into a girl, right? And I, you know, at first, you know, I thought I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe I just didn't like her. You know, maybe, you know, maybe I didn't arouse her correctly. You know what I mean? I, I, I take some sort of responsibility, right? Because I'm like, yo, this, this has never happened to me. And I'm like, you know, let's try it again. Because maybe it was, you know, maybe I was off, right? Yeah. You know, second time around, I was like, nah, bro, this, this, no, no, this can't be, this can't be. But tú sabes que uno. But this did it turn you off? For sure, and I get, yo, like. But did you finish? Oh no, yeah, I finished. Oh. Pero como, pero que como quiera, bro. It, 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 I finished because Negro wanted to finish. It wasn't like, oh, the sex was good and I finished. Uh -huh. It's Negro wanted to finish. Um, and then the third time, joke de cabeza pero, dura. Pero, pero que tú sabes, tú no tienes esperanza a veces. Como... Why would you go with third time? I'm going to be So she was gorgeous. She's a gorgeous girl. A gorgeous girl. Uh -huh. um, but I was kind of like in the hopes of like, you know, yeah, you know, nah, let's give it another try. At the third time, I was just like, at the third time, I was thinking about stopping in the middle. Like, that's how much she talked. And like, after, like, I talked, I'm like, yo, you, yo, you talk a lot during sex. She's like, oh my god, yeah, they tell me that. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, she did it. They tell me that. And I was like, I, well, it's you know. So, so yeah, so then, you know, I think, you know, somebody took the, the weight off my shoulders of having to tell her ah, she talks a lot during sex. Um, but like, she wasn't phased by it at all. She was kind of like, cool about it. Like, oh yeah, I talk a lot during sex. So I let you do this. I let you read all through, through all of them and pick one and I'll answer it. But you have to do the same. So, so what you're telling me is that I could go through all of these cards, right? Mm -hmm. And mm, the, depending on the one that I pick, you would have to 
answer it. Answer it, but at the same token, mm -hmm. I have to answer it myself. No, 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 I get to pick one. Oh, you get to pick one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, esa mano no me da a mí. ¿Sabes por qué? Si tú vas a decir, esa mano no me da a mí. Porque eso quiere decir que tú tienes una tarjeta por aquí con día que tú me quieres preguntar a mí. No, no, no. no. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you pick it first. Uh, I don't That's know. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm allowing you to pick first. No, 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 no me da con tarjeta. Oye, this is like niggas playing dominoes with me. I'm like, all right, cool, listen to it. Yo, listen to it. Tú puedes con la fruta que tú quieras. Right? And I already know a trick. Like, okay, listen, you can take whatever card you're going to win. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh. Alright, I'm going with this one. Right? M marry, fuck, kill. The hottest girl from high school. The hottest teacher. The hottest of your friend's mom. Alright, so I'm gonna fuck my friend's mom. The your, hottest. Your hottest friend's mom? Yeah, you have to. You, you have, have to. Have to? You have to. Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> I need the Instagram. I want to see who this is. I can't say. You okay. know why I can't say? Because she follows me, she's probably gonna watch this. She might. But then, <laughs> but, 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 all right. How do I say this? Right, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not gonna say who, but if I say it, you're gonna know the person and their mom. Dun, 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 dun. So if I say the, if I say the person, dun, 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 dun. you would know whose mom it is. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's we'll skip on that. Skip on that. Yeah, Alright, so we so we fucking the your hottest friend's mom. Alright, yeah, cool. Yeah. Here we go. So I, I'm gonna marry the hottest teacher and I'm gonna kill the hottest girl in my high school. Interesting. Um my, my the hottest teacher probably already has a pension. And yeah. like if she divorces me then I'll probably get half. Cool, that's about that's and, You know, the, the hottest girl from honest, school I probably already fucked, so it doesn't really matter if I killed her now. So who's the hottest girl in high school? Why you think that's interesting? Interesting. I can't think. Of, I think you know. I think I'm gonna go same thing with you. I'm gonna kill the hottest friend of my mom. Who's the hottest friend of my mom? Oh, I mean, I could kill her. I, I, I already fucked her, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> there you go. Uh, and fuck. Uh, who am I gonna fuck? I can't come up with who's the hottest girl, but I fuck the hottest girl in high school, whoever that is. I'll let you guys pick. If you went to high school with me, pick who's the hottest girl. Tell her that I gotta fuck her. Um, <laughs> and then I'm the hottest teacher. Um, who's the hottest teacher that I've had? I feel like, mm -hmm. just uh, while you think, I feel like during our timeline of going to, through school, there weren't that many hot teachers. And I feel like now is phasing out where the, all the old teachers that we had are like retiring and all the younger teachers are, are teachers are coming now. in. Yeah, I would have was... They're definitely hotter than so, what I have in school. So, damn, I can't say her name because she followed me, but there was a teacher that I know a lot of the guys, <clears throat> Cruz, um, know who I'm talking about. Um, and she, yo, she was definitely that girl, yo. She was walking down the hallways and, yo, and every single one of us breaking necks like, click, 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 click. Yeah, yeah, she had, she, then he said, Dios la bendición con una nalga, Dios mío, pero el padre. Is she married? Um, I think she's married now. I think she's like married now. But married. when she was in, when we when we were in high school, I think she just recently got engaged or something like that. Oh, okay. Um, she could definitely get it for sure. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Why you got three? Why you got three? Because I'm still trying to decide. Oh, okay. Uno tiene que defenderse en estos poquitos con esta gente. I'm telling you, you didn't go through them. No, you know, no. So you, so rápido, you cojo cualquier vaina. All right. Here we go. Last but not least. Um, is Eiffel towering a chick with another guy gay? I don't think so. I've done it before, and I don't. I don't know. I just don't. I don't think he's gay. Listen. Now, now, what if the guy was gay? Hmm. The only reason I ask is because I've been asked. Hmm. Eso como que, mm. A gay guy asked me to like. Bueno, no, him. no, no, como quiera. Porque checa lo que te voy, checa lo que sucede, right? Y esto me también mete la conversación siguiente, right? Yo creo que cualquier cosa. Right, que tú tengas interacción con una mujer, uh -huh. you know, whether you're the type of guy that likes to ass eating, whether you like people to play with your butthole, or just come up with things that people kind of consume and think it's gay, um, whether you like to get pegged, which is like girls get strap on and like fuck their ass. Uh, that's, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, so you know, I you know, I don't think as long as you do it with you know with the girl is it, it's I don't think it should be considered gay. Um, so if if me and this gay guy are having sex with a girl, mm -hmm. and I'm fucking her, she's fucking, he he's fucking her too, and I just kind of kind of high five, high five, 
No, I don't think so, yo. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it's gay at all. I don't think I would ever put myself. Well, in yeah, I don't think I would put myself in that yeah, situation. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's gay either, as long as as, as you described it, as long as that, that yeah. happens. Yo, listen, yo te voy a ser sincero. Hay un cuento por ahí, la gente lo sabe, un cuento de Colombia, eh, donde yo me vi una situación media rarita como esta. So, eh, pero no, desde que yo vi que hubo un, un falseo, un menudito raro, pssst, hey, arranca ese bicho. Eh, bueno, mi gente, a los Club Negro y Girlfriend Chandita, pero tú lo de lo duro, fuerte, lo fuerte. Hoy tuve el placer de tener aquí a Braulio Chulo Swag. Make sure to follow him on Instagram and all the social media platforms. What's the new podcast today? It's called The Hated Truth. The Hated so, Truth. T H E Hated H A T E D Truth. T R U T H. Available on all platforms? Available on all platforms. Perfect. So make sure to go check him out. Once again, Alex Club Negro, el negro que te lo hace el cuyo Girlfriend Chandita, porque a lo oscuro se hace mejor. Chulo out. Boop.